Thank you for clicking on the video. Uh, we are going to marble slash hydro dip a pair of sneakers. This is a tutorial, so I would just suggest that you pay attention to the details between every clip because if you have questions, chances are they're gonna be answered within that uh within the footage. Even though Ivelisse of DIY No Need to Cry, she is a major part of this video and she does know how to hydro dip. There are diff three different forms of hydro dip. In this case, but her knowledge on regular hydro dipping helped out with this. Make sure you go check out her channel. The links are in the description. I wanna also thank her greatly for that. It's not often you get to work with one of your favorite artists and I was able to work with her not only just these sneakers, but if you guys seen two of the paintings that I put out, um, they were done with her as well. I will put out a future video for you guys to see the bottles, the custom bottles that she's done for me. Um, I, I have different artwork artwork from her and I will be showing you guys. Ivelisse, thank you for everything that you've done for me. Thank you for your help, not just on these sneakers, not just in the painting, but all the stuff behind the scenes from both uh, showing me how to better do things on YouTube to other personal things. So thank you very much. I you know, greatly appreciate it and I can't thank you enough. Um, so yeah, you guys just pay attention to the details and at the end of the video, you will see not just the sneakers, the end result of the sneakers, but you will also see the jersey that uh, I did these for. So please enjoy and get in the comment section. All right, so we got really hot water, eight cups of hot water. Then we're gonna do four teaspoons of uh, the Deco Art Water Marbling Magic Medium. That's gonna thicken the water, it's an additive. Um, the four teaspoons is five grams a teaspoon, so that's gonna be 20 grams. You have to wait a half an hour minimum for the water for the chemicals that's putting the water to do its job I also suggest do not put a bunch at one time as it will clump up you saw in the video spread it evenly and slowly as you mix and you'll get a way better result but as these 30 minutes will go for the water to be prepared we're gonna prepare the sneaker which is a very important part of this process the parts you do not want paint on that's what you need to take because this paint, you cannot erase this paint once it is on that fabric. These are canvas. I'm pretty sure it's like that with any fabric that you're gonna use. You can't just erase this. So be mindful of that. water this right here is hot water that was left for 30 minutes with the magic marbling water marbling magic medium you have to let that dissolve in there now we're gonna put the paints uh, the paints as you see here the intensity of the paints go depending how many drops you put in there the intensity of the color uh, do not shake <laughs> do not shake hard most products say shake well before you use it these say shake gently and the reason is because you don't want bubbles so be very mindful of that and my lovely assistant is going to uh, start this off Go ahead. Definitely. Beautiful. 
Mm -hmm. I'm trying to move it too much, to be honest with you. Yeah, I kind of like what I said. Let's we'll see. It's kind of moving on its own. That's what I'm trying to. I don't want to put too much white. I kind of want to get that color in my business place. See the bubbles? That's what they didn't want. Mm -hmm. well, that bubble broke. in the middle. Try to drop it in the bubble, see what happens. You see those though? You see those bubbles? That's what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. so the top on his own, too. Again, the bubbles. This is where we messed up. <laughs> yeah, you want me to move this out? Like, see what happens? Try it, man. So wipe it every time you do that, by the way. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Oh. <laughs> That's what I wanted. One like this. Let's do it. Lift it up. Yes, yeah. no? Yeah. Oh. Clean the other side. Make sure the paint's not touching the, like break, break the paint so that when I lift it, it doesn't, you breaking it? Yeah. Ready? Don't touch the fabric. I can't see it perfectly from that angle. <gasps> you want <to> break? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, what are you doing? So yeah, all right, <laughs> so the clean water. Now it's the clean water that we go. Now I don't know how long you're supposed to. This is dope, okay? And let me get excited about stuff. Oh. Why are you telling me to chill? Who's telling you to You were like, because huh? I was like, excited. Because you was doing that, look, and started doing all I of that. Like, I didn't want it all on my phone either. Oh, okay. <laughs> We worked that out together and it came out perfect. All right, so to clean this out, and you definitely want to do it, you could take uh, a piece of paper, a blank piece of paper, and gently glide it across the top, or you lay it down. This is gonna help you clean your water so you can try one more time. Lift gently. And see how they do water art. So you do it on different surfaces and different products. Second sneaker. Avoid those air bubbles. If you squeeze and you see that air bubble come out, wipe it and then you want it to form an, a drip without a bubble. And I'm alternating between the colors. See, you see that bubble right there? You don't want that. And after each color. I'm adding white. A little more orange. There you go. More orange. Okay. Okay, here we go. Too much, Jay. Just enough to separate it. Ready? Yeah. All right. So now we're just going to the side panels of the sneaker. We have set up four trays to do things differently. Yesterday we did everything out of one tray, and the second sneaker, the tongue part, we just saw a difference in the vibrancy. Um, but everything came out good so we figure if we fit up uh, set up four trays so that way we could do the sides both sides of each sneaker we might be able to maintain the vibrancy in the colors 
sure you wipe the edges and of the bottle. Mm -hmm. Don't have oh, bubbles. Mm -hmm. Now we're ready for the dipping. Ready? Yeah, let's go. Mm, it's really cool. You know what you mean? It's just trying to make sure it's really in there. There you go. Did I get it in there? I think you got it in there. Oh yeah, I was supposed to clean it off. <laughs> it's good. Make sure you're at the edge as far as you can. Okay, that'll sink it in. Okay. Now look. Did you get the edge? Yeah. Okay, now lift it. Lift it. They're not fully dry, but we're gonna take the tape off of the sole and the front, well, off everything. Before you guys see the final results, I just wanna give you guys a recap, some of the tips here. Number one, you do not need a big bin. It doesn't have to be necessarily very deep. As long as you can fit your product in there on whichever way, whether it be sideways or whatever. But you do want it to be a bit more longer so that way you have space to place your product and move your hand. Also, when you dip your product into the water, clean off the edges before you lift it. It's very important to do. Uh, number two, remember you have to use hot water. Hot water when you put the additive into the water. Any other way, it's not going to work and it's going to stay clumped up so keep that in mind you also need a clean water tray because after you dump these into the paint and everything and you lift them up and make sure you you're cleaning off the area as you're lifting you need a separate water um, tray to rinse which you're just going to do the same thing after that you're going to place the sneaker in the same way that you did in the water that had the paint make sure that it gets just the excess dye off of it lift it and let it dry overnight that's the best way to do it let it dry overnight especially with material it needs to be dry thoroughly before you do anything else to it sprinkle powder to avoid the clumping and wait the 30 minutes avoid bubbles with the paint it is very important that you do that you want to double drop to intensify the colors now of course you want to keep building as you saw in the video we, we continue to build but to get a specific circle more intense the more drops you do in that one spot, the more intense the color will be. Prep the sneakers properly. If you're using leather, you want to make sure that you are taking off that extra layer of uh, protection that's already on, this, on the factory seal on the sneakers. We use, do that with acetone, nail polish. Do it thoroughly on all the areas that you want paint on. Remember, tape off the areas you do not want paint on. Listen, you can't control how this works. So no matter how good you might be with painting or anything like that, this is not the same thing. Tape off those areas. Also, use plastic bags as you saw us do. That'll help out a lot. Make sure, especially with canvas or other um, material kind of sneakers that aren't like a leather, something that's a little more stiff. Make sure that you're stuffing it. Stuff it so that way you have less wrinkles, less creases, 
and you keep the form of the shoe. Last but not least, Ivelisse did go back in when we finished with the project. She took some of the ink that we put in the water. She just used the ink straight up with a paintbrush. And she did go back into certain areas and added some details or intensified some of the colors. You can do that. But do not do that until you let the sneaker dry completely. After that, if whatever colors you add on to there or whatever it is, make sure you give that ample time to dry up as well. Thank you guys for everything. Subscribe so on and so forth you know the deal all right let's see what the final product look like with the outfit and everything completely together once again a big thank you to eva lee's from diy no need to cry and make sure you go check out her videos all the links are in the description especially her hydro dipping video um again can't thank her enough thank you eva lee's you guys enjoy